It's finally here, the long-awaited Q&A. I have been putting this off because, I don't know, I didn't really know what I was going to say. I put up an Insta story yesterday asking you guys what you want to know about me, what you want me to say, and I got a fair few responses. So we're going to go through a few of them and tell you guys what you want to know. I have the questions right in front of me and I haven't actually looked through these because I thought it'd be more fun to just pick as we go and have my actual honest responses. So I'm gonna start with something simple because we gotta ease our way in. I'm a bit nervous about what's been asked because I don't know, you guys have free reign on this. So first one is how old am I? Which is obvious, well not obvious but yeah, general knowledge. I am 14. My birthday is in October, which is a whole five months away, unfortunately. But it's alright. I gotta wait for my presents. Although I do have a list already. <laughs> when are you next seeing Emily? So if you guys watch her channel, you'll know that she's currently in LA. And we do FaceTime every day, but I'll be seeing her as soon as she gets back. I'm very excited to see her because I do miss her when she's away, but it does give me a chance to raid her bedroom. Hence why I am in her room for this video. And this is also her top, which she doesn't know I've got, but you know, it's all right. It's, she's got a lovely wardrobe, so she can go away as much as she wants. So someone asked, what's the age difference between me and Emily? It is 11 years, which is, it's weird because Half the time she acts as my mother, but then again she can also turn into a 14 year old and we do have a lot of banter and we do have a few arguments, but it's alright because we always end up sisters, friends, whatever you want to call it. So I got a fair few about school. So firstly I got what did I pick for my GCSEs. So I picked my options about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I picked Geography, because I love geography with my whole heart. That's also my favourite subject. But we had to choose between geography and history. I like history. I like learning about some of the things that are in it. But overall, geography is just way better. My friends were all like, but you're learning about rocks. It's not about rocks. It's about the other things. Um, and then I picked business, because I think that's just like a solid subject. I know some places don't really recognise it as like, a proper GCSE but I think it's quite good because it teaches you a lot and I picked photography because it's I've always been told to do something that you enjoy as well because it can be quite heavy and having something that you enjoy and that you maybe are good at it can be quite a nice almost like a break but obviously not a break because you still have to work hard but yeah I picked photography because I really enjoy it and I just think that I want to do it and then obviously I also have to do a language which my language at school is Spanish I would rather have done French I think but Spanish is also a very good language to know so I also got asked what's my favorite holiday that I've been on now this is a brilliant question I could talk for days about this so I don't really have like one favorite I have like two but my one of them is definitely Dubai which I went to about two years ago um, and it was, oh, it was amazing. The weather is absolutely perfect if you go at the right time of the year because obviously I'm from Britain. Anywhere is going to be better than this. If it's not raining, I'm happy. It was just nice to lay out in the warmth, go in the pool when I wanted to and I liked going like into like the more like the city area of it and going into shops and things like that. What I can remember is going from like the outside, the heat, into like one of the shopping places and the aircon was blasting and it was freezing cold and it was so weird to go from heat to freezing cold and then back out into the heat. And then my other favourite is probably when we went to America, to Orlando. It was weird because obviously America's like really far away from us but to go to Orlando was just incredible like the actual like experience of being in the parks and things like that was brilliant but we also went out into like shops and stuff which 
it was, yeah, it was just really cool because I see so much about like America and American life, but to actually be there and like do some of the things and go to some of the more traditionally American places was such a cool experience. I also just love traveling anywhere in general. Like if it gets me away from home, I quite like it. So I like going places like within this country as well. We often go to Norfolk, which is just really nice for a little break. And then we went to Edinburgh, which was so nice because it was, we just went for the weekend to like experience it. And I think it was amazing. We did have to walk up and down like this massive hill, which was quite tiring. Me and my dad had to speed walk some of it because it was the only way we would get up. We did like a minute of absolute power walking and then we got like a 10 second break and then we would go again because our hotel was like right at the top of the mile. I do have a trip lined up. Those of you on TikTok will know that I recently, not recently, about two months ago, went to Cape Verde, which was also amazing. It was boiling hot, which I was not used to. So I did, did get a few headaches, but by the end of it, it was amazing. Um, but I do actually have a trip lined up in about a week, which you guys are going to get a video on, of course. And it is a secret where I'm going. I'll post some TikToks of my packing and my little airport experience for you. So you can try and figure out where I'm going before the next video comes out. So our next one is, do you enjoy going to the hairdressers and would you ever get a bob or a fringe? So I have a lot to say about this. Basically, I like going to the hairdressers. I think it's quite a relaxing experience for me because it's just like a little pamper, you know? When I was younger, when I was about four, I had a fringe that was cut at the hairdressers and it was um, an interesting time that I would not like to repeat. Although when I was in year three, I did cut my own fringe, which I'll try and find a picture to show you guys because, oh my gosh. It was actually, I did get praised by my hairdresser because apparently I did it really well, even though I didn't even have a mirror. I just got some scissors and just cut because, I don't know, I was bored. I did then get banned from scissors for a fair while, but you know, I've got my scissor privileges back now. Took a long time though. <laughs> my mum did have to go to Asda at 11 o'clock at night to get me some hair bands for school the next day to cover it because yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Although I did get in there and tell everyone exactly what I did because you know, we like to spread the gossip. And then I have highlights in my hair. I got them done about a year ago, but I do want to get them redone before summer because I don't know, I think when I'm in the sun, my hair goes like lighter anyway, but I want some highlights just to kind of bring that out. I do have naturally curly hair like my mum, which you've probably seen her hair. My curls aren't as extreme as that, but they are curly, but I straighten it, as you can probably tell. I do straighten it every day because, which is really bad for your hair. But I do use heat protectant, don't worry. Um, I know it's not the best for your hair, but I don't know, I just like it more straight. I think it just suits me a bit better. So this was one of the most popular requests. Have you ever had a boyfriend or have you got a boyfriend? I have had boyfriends, but I do not currently have one. Which that was, I can't believe how many of you asked that actually. Got at least five people. Probably one of the most popular questions. What do you struggle most with? So I don't know how many of you know, but I did have surgery in last August. And due to that, I haven't actually been able to ride, which is one of my favorite things to do. It's such like a release from like stress and like the pressure of school and things like that. So not being able to ride has been so hard for me. I think probably one of the most hardest things I've ever had to do, but I am so nearly back to riding. I have probably two months until I can ride again. And Trust me, you guys will be getting a lot of TikToks about that because I'm so excited. I'm really lucky to have such good friends at the stables that I'm at as well because they invite me down to watch them at competitions and like to just spend time with them and their lone horses and things like that. Just being there, like being at the stables helps a lot because 
even if I can't ride, I can still do things. It's just really nice because horses have quite a calming influence on you because you kind of have to be calm around them or things might go wrong. So yeah, it's just really nice being down there and having such great friends to spend time with. And I know my friends, said friends will be watching this. So maybe take a break from taking mugs of me and appreciate what I've just said. Another question is what would my dream YouTube video be to make? So I don't know how many of you watched my top fest vlog, which was my first video on here, but I met some amazing people, Rosie, Amy, I would definitely like to do collabs with them and do maybe like sync quite fun with them because I really enjoy like watching people around my age videos and just seeing what I can do really that's you know possible for me to do that would be fun for you guys to watch so yeah I would definitely like to do something with someone but another thing that I want to do that I have spoken about already is that when I reach 10k subscribers I'm dragging my sister in here I do not care if she wants to do it or not but she will be doing a challenge video with me and I will win. I will make sure of it. So that will be very fun. And she has already said that she'll do something with me. She doesn't know what I'm planning. I don't even know what I'm planning yet, but I will plan something and I will make sure it's good. So another question that I got that I find quite interesting is, do you plan on doing YouTube as a career like Emily? Now, this is obviously a hard one because I'm a child, but all I know right now is that this will be my sixth video and I really love what I'm doing right now and obviously I don't know what opportunities I'm going to get in the future but right now this is something that I want to carry on doing and I think it's, it's a really fun thing to do and I like seeing the responses from you guys, like the positive responses, it makes me feel really good. So yeah, I definitely want to carry this on for uh, the foreseeable right now. I don't really know what I want to do in the future like with like in terms of job opportunities and things like that because I don't know the world changes so quickly I don't know what's going to be available to me when it's the time for me to get a job I know that I definitely want to do this I just really enjoy it and I think that it can open up a lot of opportunities I've seen how hard Emily works and I've seen like the rewards that she gets from it and I think it looks amazing I definitely want to work hard so that I can get a lot of opportunities like she does because yeah it looks amazing. So I've been talking for a very long time now so we're gonna do just a few more little questions and then I will release you from the video. Another thing that you guys wanted to know was where do I get my clothes? This is a really hard one to answer because I don't just get them from one place. I have a lot in my wardrobe because I am a hoarder. I do not throw things away like ever. I think I've only ever had about two room clear outs and my wardrobe probably less. One thing that I have a lot of is Primark t-shirts because they're really good value and you can just get so many of them for a price that isn't ridiculous. I took a lot of them on holiday because I tend to live in shorts and a t-shirt. In warm weather, definitely Primark t-shirts are a really good thing to just have on hand to slip on when you've been down by the pool or when you've just got up and you're too tired to plan an outfit and you wanna go down to breakfast. I tend to live in jeans and a t-shirt, which is what I've got on right now. <laughs> and it does annoy Emily because she, as much as she goes, you need to vary what you wear. And she tries to help me. She tries to expand my clothing knowledge. I always go back to jeans and a t-shirt. So what I've got on right now, I didn't actually realise this, but both of the things I'm wearing, jeans and the t-shirt, are from And Other Stories, and I really like them. These jeans are so nice. They're straight cut jeans, so they go perfectly with my Converse, and they look so good. It just, it, it's something simple that looks good, which is what I tend to wear, because I don't know, I don't really wear, like, there's not a lot of cores around here to wear, like, really fancy outfits. So I do just wear jeans and a t-shirt, but this t-shirt is so nice. It isn't mine. I did steal it from Emily's wardrobe, but you know what? She's not here. She'll never know, apart from when she watches this video. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, Emily, but it's too nice. 
something else that I'll be taking on holiday with me again is dresses to wear like in the evenings when we go out for dinner. Now, dresses that I found last time ended up most of them being from New Look because they have some really nice dresses on there that fit me really well because it's sometimes hard to find dresses that you like that also are the right size, the right fit, but New Look seemed to just have what I was looking for, which was brilliant. So they'll definitely be coming with me again. And you can wear them like multiple times like on holiday. So I got about, I think I got three or four dresses and we went for a week and I just wore like them, I just wore them twice because as long as you don't drop food down yourself, then you're fine. No one's gonna tell you to stop wearing things twice. The last question I'm gonna answer is probably the easiest one for me to give you an answer to because I've been thinking about this since I was about seven years old. Do I want to own a horse when I'm older? Absolutely I do. I have been riding since I was seven years old. I'm 14 now, seven years that's been. I have wanted a horse since I was seven. Every year, my Christmas and birthday list, top of the list was a horse. I, yeah, I definitely do. During lockdown, I was so lucky and I got offered a part loan on probably my favorite horse in the world. He was so special to me, still is, and I really miss him. But it was an amazing thing to do because horses, are really special. They can sense what you're feeling and they just have this magical effect about them that they can calm you down and they just help you to boost your mood and the best thing is they never tell secrets. So you can tell them anything you want because you know they're not gonna tell. And I would absolutely love a horse when I'm older, or now, <laughs> but I don't wanna do anything when I haven't got the time to put in because horses, are like a big commitment and I don't want to get a horse to then not be able to do things with them or to be able to care for them properly because that's something that's very important to me is making sure that a horse is properly cared for and is I want to spend time with a horse you know I don't want to get it for it to sit in a field and not be able to do anything with them so yeah definitely definitely a goal of mine when I can ride again I will probably have a loan and then hopefully work my way up to my own so this was a really fun video for me to do and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it answered some of your questions i know obviously didn't answer all of the things that were asked so if you want me to do another one let me know after you've liked and subscribed and yeah just tell me what you want to see next i think i definitely love doing this because i like answering your questions and i like telling you guys what you want to know so I'll definitely do another one of these if you want me to but yeah I hope you had fun watching me sit here and talk for however long this is and yeah have a great day do not forget to like and subscribe bye guys <laughs>